530 new testimony in the trial against the Unite the Right rally organizers and it is coming from an unexpected source on the stand today testifying for the prosecution was Matthew Heimbach. Heimbach is a neo-Nazi who led the traditionalist worker party at the time of the Unite the Right rally and among other things Heimbach told the court about his infatuation with Adolf Hitler. Now chief legal correspondent Siba Iyer has been there following this case every step of the way in Charlottesville. She joins us now outside the courthouse and and Seema, there's a lot of players here uh, trying to keep track of who's on what team here. Can we assume, though, that Heimbach is helping the <laughs> plaintiff's case and that's why they called him? Absolutely correct, Brian. You know the deal well by now, and this is different. So that's why it's so confusing for all of us, because it's a civil case. It's not a criminal case. If it was a criminal case, that this would be a totally different story, because if Heimbach couldn't be called by the prosecution, and if he was, he'd probably claim the Fifth Amendment, right, against self-incrimination. Now, the judge at one point even yelled at the plaintiff's attorney saying, hey, stop it. This is not a criminal case and stop questioning them like it was. But it got really contentious in there. And that's exactly why it happened. Because Heimbach keeps trying to distance himself from his co-defendants, yet what do we see? We see text messages between Heimbach and Chris Cantwell. And then, and then, and then there was a lot of this going back and forth, these, this testimony. And then we also saw phone records between Heimbach and the lead defendant, Kessler. And then finally, let's talk about James Fields. Now, James Fields, he is really the symbol of when we think of Unite the Right rally, right? We think of the tragic death of Heather Heyer by James Fields driving that car into that crowd of protesters. Well, most of today, because Heimbach is still on the stand, is still on the stand, uh, most of today, Heimbach was saying that he had nothing to do with the car attack. But, in fact, we found out today that he sent James Fields money in jail. Brian? All right, Seema, yeah, uh, th that's some enlightening information there. You were talking about this yesterday, that there's so much security surrounding this case. You saw some of that right before we came on the air yesterday. We know very little about the jury, but do you have some more information to report today? And I will tell you this, I keep trying to talk to these security guys. I'm pretty sure they're federal agents, but they won't talk to me, Brian, which is shocking because I'm very charming, as you know. But yes, I did find out about the jury. Now, the jurors, there are 12 jurors for civil cases. You only need six. And I can report uh, from the other reporters in the pool that there are four black jurors. Of the four black jurors, there is one black woman. We also know there are three to four Caucasian jurors. Uh, I believe at least two or three of them are Caucasian males. As for the rest, we are unsure of their ethnic breakdown. Uh, and again, just to remind our viewers, these jurors are not going by their names. They're going by their numbers, Brian. Okay, and Seema, I'm sure that you will work out your charms to get some information here soon. But what's next when we return to the courtroom? What are you thinking? Okay, well, the end of the day, uh, Heimbach is, wasn't done, so he's going to keep going tomorrow. But I will say this, that Dr. Deborah Lipstadt, she is set to testify tomorrow. Now, she is an American historian. She is known for teaching anti-Semitism and also instructing people on Holocaust denial. And this is really big because experts aren't always allowed to testify. But what the test is here is, is this an area that is beyond the ken? It is beyond what normal people know about. And a lot of us just don't know the ins and outs of anti-Semitism, nor do we know about the Holocaust. So that is what Dr. Deborah Lipstadt is set to testify. And from what I'm hearing, she is the next witness up, guys. All right, good information. And we'll look forward to seeing that tomorrow and also later on tonight for Fox 46 News after the game. Of course, Seema, continue your charms there in Charlottesville. Fox 46 chief legal expert Seema Iyer is one of only a handful of journalists from across the country allowed inside the courtroom for this Unite the Right trial. And she will continue to bring us exclusive new details from inside the courtroom throughout the trial right here on Fox 46 Charlotte.